Hi guys, I hope uh, you're having an awesome summer vacation. I actually got back to work uh, after one week in the uh, western part of Norway uh, called Øygarn. Uh, and on the way uh, back to work, I picked up my new uh, new lens. 18, 18 millimeters color scoper for Fuji. X mount for this bad boy. So uh, I'm gonna unbox it and show you uh, my new lens and some thoughts about why I bought that. Actually, shout out to uh, Alpha Technic from Cyprus. I bought this one on eBay. Uh, from Cyprus. Uh, I couldn't find it here in Norway. Uh, I'm not sure why uh, Norwegian store decided to not sell this uh, lens here. Uh, anyway, uh, I tried to find some reviews on YouTube, but I couldn't find so many. Uh, and while I'm talking about that, I'm gonna quickly show you two persons <clears throat> Two YouTubers actually. Let me show you quick. Uh, Chris did one review, and this guy Fuji fanboy. Both of them did a uh, quick unboxing. Uh, so shout out to those beautiful YouTubers. Uh, so I'm gonna do mine. I bought it for my own money. You see the value uh, here. 460 euros <clears throat> and I had to pay 25% uh, VAT when I picked it up today so add this, add this to the to the 460 uh, so let me quickly open this one up and see what's in the box I bought the black one, uh, by the way, because it goes well with the XE2. I'm not gonna, again, as I said, I'm not gonna do any uh, technical review because I never tried this lens. And, and to be honest, I'm not interesting in, any more uh, interesting in sharpness, micro contrast. Uh, corner sharpness as I used to before I was crazy about that and if I bought a lens it has to be sharp the micro contrast has to be awesome corner sharpness and blah 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 but after 15 years I learned that all those stuff doesn't matter the the person behind the camera that matters so quick nicely packaged and let me see 18 millimeters to 8 and this is a little bit strange for me but because this is for me is a game changer i hate the word game changer by the way but i use it anyway because when i put when i'm at the street i actually when i'm out uh, taking pictures i doing 95 percent street photography and I'm when I'm doing uh, and 28 is my uh, favorite. Uh, so Fujifilm doesn't have any good 28 manual focus lens. And when World Thunder for a couple of months ago they announced that this is gonna come out, I was quite uh, excited because uh, I can uh, decide. Um, I usually put in my lens on f8, f11, and I'm doing. Uh, zone focusing the fastest autofocus that is and manuals and stuff i don't care about that and this is the lens first time I actually touch this lens quite light this is the lens uh, lens cap and the uh, the lens shade and this is the lens 28 millimeters on uh, 35 millimeter terms. 
awesome. Let me see. Ah, body is smooth. Uh, uh, body is smooth. Uh, manual focus and really awesome. Oh, nice, cool. Really, I'm not sure if you hear the sound. It's really awesome. So tiny. Look at this. Wow. So I'm gonna put it on my. Uh, I just bought this uh, XC2. I was actually um, out for um, X Pro 2 here in Norway, but right now those are a good condition. They, those go for um, thousand bucks, eleven, twelve hundred bucks here in Norway at least. So I skip that. Uh, I have enough cameras. Uh, my best choice for the street is actually Ricoh GR Mark II. Uh, I love the sensor. I love the, I love that files from the camera. But one thing I, I actually missed for a couple of years before I had the, um, all the Leicos, you can imagine I had this M6, M7, M9, M240. But to be honest, Leica for me, I mean, in terms of the ergonomic and building quality, build quality is top notch, but the, the output is not so, uh, so nice for me anymore because Fuji can do the same almost. And I, to be honest, I don't need the full frame because as I said, I'm usually doing uh, street and I'm always uh, almost 95% on f8 and be there this is gonna be my really awesome setup for for the street uh, so not gonna use any autofocus i'm gonna put it on f8 f11 based on how much light is uh, available and i'm gonna put it uh, something between the focus from 0 0.7 to infinity and I'm just point and shoot so that's it quick review shout out to the youtubers I showed you shout out to the alpha technique because of the uh, uh, fast actually it took me 20 20 days I think from Cyprus here to Norway and some days in uh, declaration custom declaration uh, uh, so shout up, shout out to them. Uh, I'm not sure if you're interested to see me in action with this camera uh, and the lens combo. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, maybe I do one more, one more video for that. Yes, probably I'm gonna put some uh, filter on it. Uh, just for uh, for protected from the dust otherwise i'm gonna enjoy it uh, if there is anything you wonder uh, ask me in the comments and yes that's it i'm gonna wish you a nice day and uh, still uh, happy vacation if you have vacation and enjoy your summer Thank you, guys.